years, this NDP Liberal government is not worth the cost. But let's hear from some <coughs> rural residents. Judy from Arcona writes, the carbon tax is killing us. And Scott from Tupperville says, as a senior, I'm finding it hard to cope. And Walter from Elvinson writes, I have not even received a carbon rebate. No, most people haven't. Promised budget being set to be <clears> delivered at 4 p.m. today. Will the Prime Minister finally axe the tax on farmers, make food cheaper for Canadians, and pass Bill C-234 in its original form? The Honourable Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I'd really like to ask the Conservatives, they don't have to wait till 4 o'clock, they could pass the fall economic statement. Because, Mr. Speaker, that is having an impediment on what rural top-up is going. So in my riding, that would mean $1,430 to go every year to a family of four. All across the country in Alberta, it would mean $2,160. I wish they'd pass the Fez, then they would truly be helping rural Canadians and rural families. Here, here. The Honourable Member from Lambton, Kent, Middlesex. Well, Mr. Speaker, even the polls tell us that the majority of Canadians are fed up with this Prime Minister overspending, over-promising, under-delivering, and failing this country. Over $52 billion will be spent, to, spent on servicing his debt alone. And while Canadians are struggling, he raised the price of gas, groceries, and home heating of carbon tax by 23% just two weeks ago. This is punishment, not progress. So in his big deficit budget later today, will the Prime Minister finally axe the tax on farmers and make food cheaper for Canadians. Yeah. <laughs> They're already anticipating deficit budget. Minister for Rural Economic Development. That's Mr. just sad. I want to tell this story again. I told it a few weeks ago. It was a constituent in my riding who took the time to track every single amount of money that he'd paid. And you know what? He doubled it in case he missed a few things. He was in $38 every time he got his check. I wish they'd do their homework, Mr. Speaker, because 8 out of 10 Canadians do get more with their Canada carbon rebate, especially in rural Canada. The Honourable Member from Regina Leuven. This coming from the Liberal member who said if Canadians want programs, they should vote Liberal. Come on, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> For years, this Liberal NDP government is not worth the cost. Let's go, Warren. Canadians are finding it harder and harder to make ends meet. And we all know that at 4 o'clock today, they're going to table a dumpster fire budget. This Prime Minister simply is not worth the cost. The question is, will he finally axe a tax on farmers so Canadians can put food on their table. Yeah. The Honourable Minister for Natural Resources and Energy. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. On this side of the House, we are focused on ensuring affordability for Canadians moving forward and addressing the climate issue. The price on pollution is an affordability mechanism. Eight out of ten families get more money back. The PBO has underlined that. 300 economists across this country have underlined that. Mr. Speaker, every one of those MPs over there ran on the platform that included a price on pollution. They, they had this is the height of hypocrisy. And my goodness, their plan is only to, to take money away from poor people and to let the planet burn. That doesn't even make any sense. The member from Regina, Leuven. Climate can can say whatever he wants, but they are 62nd out of 67 countries. Oh, he's going to get in trouble for that. The Honourable uh, Member is an experienced member in this House and understands that we cannot uh, refer to other members other than their titles that they have. Oh, yeah. Order! <laughs> it's kind of funny, this climate can. The Honourable Member, to start from, a, start from the top and to avoid such language. He's not Ken. Ken's handsome. Mr. Speaker, <laughs> this Prime Minister is not worth the cost. They see it time and time again when they go... Did you guys hear that? <laughs> so he said he's not Ken. Ken is handsome. Avoid such language. He's not Ken. Ken's handsome. Mr. <laughs> This Prime Minister is not worth the cost. They see it time and time again when they go to the grocery store. And we know that our farmers are paying more. By 2030, when this Holy shit, that's funny. implemented at $170 a ton, farmers will be paying $1 
billion dollars in taxes. So my question was again, on their four o'clock budget dumpster fire, will they ask the tax farmers so Canadians can put food on the table? That was an open mic, yeah. A hot mic. I don't think he meant for us to pick that up. Mr. Speaker, I'm not sure if the honorable <laughs> member is actually trying to insult me or actually give me a compliment. But, um, but, but I would say that it's important in this chamber that we actually use facts, that we are not misleading Canadians. Eight out of ten Canadians get more money back. That is underlined by 300 economists in this, uh, in this country. And to be honest, it's underlined by the Premier of his province. And when Scott Moe came here and actually testified, what he said, is they looked at all alternatives and they were all too expensive. Well, that's absolutely the right thing because we have put in place something that actually does address affordability, reduces carbon emissions on that side of the house. They don't believe in climate change and they act... Sit down, climate Shrek. (laughs) 